Hello and welcome. I'm Ben from DigiTechnical Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure 802.1Q VLANs on your Digi Accelerated Linux router. For this demo, I'm using the TX54 router with firmware version 22.11.48.10. In this lab, we have a Digi TX54 router, a Netgear managed layer two switch, and some hosts connecting to the network. The TX54 has a connection to the internet and Ethernet 4 will be configured as the trunk port. So VLAN tags will be added to traffic leaving the Ethernet 4 interface. On the Netgear switch, port 1 will be connected to Ethernet 4 on the Digi TX54. I've pre-configured the Netgear switch with two new VLANs, VLAN 16 and 17, and assigned interfaces to each VLAN. VLAN 16 and VLAN 17 are separated within the layer 2 switch. If we need to route between those two VLANs, the traffic will have to go to the TX54 and then back through to the layer 2 switch. The Netgear switch is configured as shown. We'll go into the 802.1Q configuration and advanced, and then VLAN configuration. You can see here that port 1 is a member of every VLAN, Ports 2, 3 and 4 are in VLAN 16 only, and ports 5, 6 and 7 are in VLAN 17 only. When we look at the port membership, we can see that port 1 has a T, which means it's the trunk port, so VLAN tags will be added. 2, 3 and 4 are part of VLAN 16 and are untagged. VLAN 17 uses ports 5, 6 and 7, again untagged. Port 8 is an untagged port, for VLAN 1 and is not used. This screen shows the default VLAN for each port. So going back to the network diagram, port 1 is all VLANs, ports 2, 3 and 4 on the switch are for VLAN 16 only, and ports 5, 6 and 7 are for VLAN 17 only. So let's move on to the TX54 configuration. First we need to go into System, Device Configuration. And the first task is to remove Ethernet 4 from the default LAN bridge. Go into Network, Interfaces, LAN 1, and you can see here that the device is Bridge LAN 1. Now when we go and have a look at the bridge configuration for LAN 1, you can see here that Ethernet interfaces 2, 3 and 4 are all bridged together. So the first thing is to remove Ethernet 4 from the bridge. The next step is to configure the VLANs. We're going to have two VLANs. VLAN 16, which will use Ethernet 4, ID 16. and VLAN 17, again using Ethernet 4, ID 17. The next step is optional, but I do recommend you do this. I'm going to configure new firewall zones for each of the two VLANs I've created. Scroll down to Firewall, Zones, and add two new zones. Make sure SourceNAT is disabled. and then scroll back up to the network section. So I'm going to call this IP underscore VLAN underscore 16. The interface type will be Ethernet. The zone is the new firewall zone configured for VLAN 16, and the device will be VLAN 16, which was configured earlier. Now into the IP addressing, I'm going to give this interface an IP address of 172.16.0.1 slash 24, leaving the default gateway blank, and then into the DHCP server and select to enable the DHCP server so that any LAN hosts connecting into the switch on VLAN 16 will be served IP addresses from the TX54 router for this VLAN. I need to repeat the same for VLAN 17. IP underscore 
VLAN underscore 17. The zone is the new firewall zone. The VLAN is the new VLAN. And again, configure an IP address 172.17.0.1 slash 24. Again, leaving the default gateway blank and enabling the DHCP server for devices connected onto the switch ports that are on VLAN 17. The final step is to set up the firewall packet filters to allow traffic from the new VLANs out to the internet and if required allow into VLAN routing. To do this go into firewall packet filtering and add a new packet filter rule. So this one is going to be called allow VLAN 16 to internet the source zone will be VLAN 16 and the destination zone will be external. And now repeat the same for VLAN 17. The new source zone will be VLAN 17 and the destination zone will be external. If you need into VLAN routing, you can add one or two more rules depending on the traffic flows required. So we're going to say into VLAN 16 to 17, source zone will be 16, destination zone 17. Add one more, into VLAN 17, to 16 17 16 the last thing to do is apply the config to save it when we go back to the dashboard page you can now see there are two new network interfaces IP VLAN 16 and IP VLAN 17 that are both currently down all you need to do now is connect in Ethernet 4 to the managed layer 2 switch. Now I've connected that to the managed switch and refreshed the page, those two IP interfaces are up. So now when clients are connected to the Netgear switch on ports 2, 3 and 4, they will receive IP addresses in the 172.16.0 network from the TX54 and when devices are connected into ports 5, 6 or 7 they will receive IP addresses on the 172.17.0 network. That's the end of this demo. If you need any other information on this or any other feature of your Digi router, see the support pages at digi.com support. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.